few days ago, I made a video that was talking about a new lineup that is uh, going to be released very soon from Autel Robotics. This lineup included a nano model ranging from 250 gram up to a successor to the Evo 2 Pro that I have here on the shelf. At that point, it was very uncertain when we would hear uh, news about at least one of the new drones. But this morning, I stumbled across a picture in the official Autel group. I don't know if it's official actually, but it's an Autel group on Facebook showing this poster claiming that there will be an Autel event on the 28th of September. And looking at the pictures, it seems it would be a drone announcement. Checking with my good source in the industry, Jasper Allens, revealed a few more goodies uh, that I would share with you. If you don't know Jasper, Jasper is pretty much up to speed with everything that's going on in terms of leaks and rumors. And uh, if you want to follow him on Twitter, then I've left a link in the description below. So what he dug up was three photos of the actual product that is supposed to be the Nano. Before we look at the pictures, let's just summarize what we're expecting to get with this new drone. So it will be sub 250 grams. It will be highly portable because it's foldable. It uh, will include some smart flight features, which we don't know much about yet. It will have a flight time of 30 minutes and a range up to 10 kilometers. It will be delivered in two versions, one without obstacle avoidance and one with obstacle avoidance. There will be two 4K camera configurations available. The lower end will be covered by one inch sensor at f2.8 where the high end will be a 1 over 1.28 inch sensor at f1.9. The low f-stop number indicates that the high end specs will be more sensible to low light. One thing that's important to note is that even at the low spec camera configuration, this will exceed the capabilities of the current Mini 2. One of the pictures shows the characteristic look of the auto drone with the front facing sensors like we see here on the Evo 2 Pro. Taking a look at the back, we can see that the, the drone is going to be rear loaded like this one. So same principle, we slide in the battery from the back, as well as have two obstacle avoidance sensors at the same position as it's located here on the Evo 2 Pro. The back also supports a connection through USB-C as well as a SD card slot. And if we really stretch our imagination, we might be able to sense the sensor that is located towards the bottom of the drone. But according to Jasper, it will have front, rear and bottom sensors, where we could confirm the front and the back sensors uh, from the photos. There is still no news about the pricing of these new drones, so that would be super exciting to learn more about that. If you have additional info that you have dug up around the web, then feel free to send it to me and I will look into making a video about it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.